all's well, I hope. I was going to say the very same thing. As soon as I worked up my courage a little. I can't recall the last time I shared so much with someone. Maybe I never did before. It meant a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. And that was before the kiss. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Very serious of you, but go ahead. Always good when I'm with you. Yankee relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. That artifact is an heirloom of my people. Likely she spilled Githyanki blood in order to steal it. This cannot stand. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. You hear that, Lazel? It's called common sense. Tsk. You seek reason and dishonor. I doubt this one's wit will be any sharper by then. I do not wish to spill blood here. Come daylight, we will find a place to end this. Fine. You can accept your wrong, or we'll be rid of you permanently. Either way, I win. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance.
I've been catching myself smiling more lately. I think that's your fault. Very serious of you, but go ahead. Always good when I'm with you. We aren't dear friends now, if that's what you're asking. But I trust we can all sleep a little more soundly in camp now. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. thought Shadowheart and Lazel might fight to the death over that artifact. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. I'll say one thing for our troop. We're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. Eventually. With pleasure. Lead on. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Twice over, in fact. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. Dark 
justiciers are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate, hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Thank you. I had a feeling you'd be understanding. Things have stayed interesting. It's a metaphor. But if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. I've been watching you fight, Shadowheart. Your skills are improving. My skills were just fine to begin with. You can say the compliments. I don't pay compliments. I make observations. Traitor Kithrak takes great interest in this relic of yours, Shadow. Mm. Or should I say, weapon? Mm. What are you hiding? Mm. Nothing. I assume your kin are just <clears throat> as misguided as you are.
Can you look happy, Shadowheart? You must have questions. something special well you know where to find me it's not that hard to find that... go ahead I'm listening I question the wisdom of that decision but so be it I'll be in the camp then idling away the hours vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Croft. Where's Gek? Who are you? The sergeant will be pissed about her boots. Come on. Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. showed up we got trouble spit it out sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick drug no the twat soul caused a rock fall trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger you're shitting me you pay up that's the trouble he's got the gold on him sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating Who's the Hoon, Greyman? Another slave for the dig. Aye. He sniffed up Gek's corpse. Found the Hoon sailing his skiff. That's so. I... <sighs> you feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. 
you want through, make a donation. I'll be shagged to Shanatar. Shit's looking up. But I'm warning you, that twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Are we saving this near from suffocating or leaving him to die? I'm fine with either, naturally. The last thing I want to do is ruin these nails digging through rock. But if you insist on being a hero, I won't get in your way. Just don't expect me to help, either. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Nasty way to go. Suffocating slowly under a ton of rubble. Not a fate I'd personally relish. With pleasure. Lead on.
That drow, near, is going to be on his last gasp unless someone digs him out. Though, not necessarily our concern, of course. is hard to bear. I hope we're able to continue on our way before too long. I know what you mean. Everyone is so... unhappy. Uh, well, I meant more than molten rock and plunging chasms, but yes, the folk leave something to be desired as well. Present company excluded, of course. Oh, hush you. What's a fort Stop like this doing in the underdark? architecture doesn't match the style of any underdark civilization that I know of you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Cane and whip these droogning beasts into shape. That rubble needs clearing, and my patience is hanging on by an ass whisker. Damn right I do. Getting cramps in my arm trying to whip the droogning beasts back to work. Now get to the caning, for I thrash you instead. Drugnin hoon, I'll split you from head to hole. Bloody rope, they have lost it. Put him down. Ready for this. In position. <laughs> what fools these mortals be. In striking distance.
think you can take me on? So, are you creating invisible beings, or just losing your mind? <laughs> the Echoes, listen. They're coming from three directions. Losing your mind is it. Probably the turtle. The weirdest things seem to be. past this. designed to be made by Dwergar.
architects who built this must have been remarkable. Pity their vision didn't stand the test of time. All's not lost. I mean, just look at this place. You've quite the knack for finding the bright side of things, haven't you? Hope keeps you going. Vampires actually drink blood out of goblets, like in the storybooks. Doesn't seem very fresh. The creature huffs in irritation as she closes her eyes. How, How peculiar. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. A sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. The rock, the rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see, and be thorough. Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Statues meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. Anything standing out? Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor, many split cleanly in two, yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. What do you think? Incredible. An entire history risen from dirt and debris. Picture it. An ancient city, hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later, a new tribe revives it. Fresh walls, fresh sculptures, until a great hell beast charges through, toppling the walls and crushing the people. Oh, that explains the infernal plate I found. 
Perhaps you might have use of it. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. I must get to it. Well, let's see what you've got. <laughs> 